Good. Great. Welcome to the Merry Men Room. Yeah, y'all been having a good time. Hold on a guys. We got to take a couple seconds to get this. All right. I'm here with the Merry Men. Woo! Mm. <laughs> Rock and roll. How's Rock and roll going, with Captain? the Merry Men. Y'all been having a good time here, and, uh, yeah. and it seems that the Merry Men, as many times as Robin Hood has been told, the Merry Men is also always an integral, integral part of the story. Oh. And you know, uh, <laughs> that's great, man. We are good now. We're good. Okay. It looks good on All right. Start from the top. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Start from the top. After a short break, we're back here with the Merry Men. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Merry Men Land. It's great to be here. And and the Merry Men always play such an integral part in the Robin Hood story. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to know. We're the, we're, we're the crew. Yeah, y'all the crew. Y'all the entourage, That's the crew. Right. Like, Brothers. What, what is it that, that makes you guys so important in the tale of Robin Hood? Can y'all kind of sum that up? I think it puts him in a place. It puts him in a place and it shows that He's not like some like elitist like 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 superstar kind of superhero. He's just a guy who has friends and buddies, and that he happens to be the leader of a gang of fellas, you know. And it's 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 it's, the, it's the, one of the parts of the story for me that makes it a bit more believable and a bit more natural. He's a bit less of like a Roman god kind of legend. He's an actual dude yeah. who had buddies and friends, and and he's in. good at his trade, and he surrounds himself with yeah. men that are good at their trades as well, archery and sword yeah. fighting. Right. Yeah, I think I think the merry men bring um, merriment to 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 the whole uh, story. Obviously, I mean we're we're we're, uh, we're awesome warriors on the field of battle, but at the same time, we're the, we're the fellows that after a good day of of uh, kicking butt on the battlefield, we'll have some drinks and uh, sing Same. a couple of shanties, and uh, you know, it's. Uh, that's why, because we're fun and we're awesome. We're awesome and we're and we, incredibly good looking. All we, of us, smile, guys. And we enjoy it, Dennis. We enjoy it. Uh, we're handsome. Speak for yourself. Hey. <laughs> Still here, then? For the time being, refer to me as Sir Robert. I'll explain later. My uh, men at arms. This is about as courtly as they get. Alan Adele, Will Scarlet, and Little John, Lady Marion. I trust you had an historic evening. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Lady Marion Loxley, my wife. Well played. A bit, a bit brash, but. Well played, nonetheless. Are you, are you guys all the athletes also? I mean, you're, and playing hockey, you can kind of, kind of be attuned to drinking beer and... and being <laughs> yeah, and exactly. What? Exactly. I've never heard that, that, ever. I've heard that, rumor, you know. Beer <laughs> after a hockey game. What? <laughs> but is, is that, did that play a part in, in the cast and that you guys are obviously musically talented and that you're, you guys all look like y'all are still athletes? And we'll play, well, we'll play a part, yes, but what we'll played a part of it is we have all known each other for many years. We, uh, we've all known Russ, and he knew we were physical and we were athletic and we could sing and... Yeah. yeah. Well, so. you mentioned the hockey. I mean, Scott and Russell and myself, we met playing hockey in a movie called Mystery Alaska, you know, oh, and uh, and we were all, I, I was a massive fan of, of, of Alan Doyle here. He's the lead singer of a band called Great Big C, and I gave these fellas a CD, and, uh, you know, 13 years later, we're all here uh, acting like complete fools together, <laughs> right, you know, right, and having right, a blast, right, right, right. and right. getting paid for it. Getting Believe paid it. For it. Hi, high five. Yeah, that's purpose. That's the whole point. That's good luck, though. That was Millie Vanilli now, right there. You, they... Follow me.
spoke about Great Big C, but I, I know to be like that successful, that successful on uh, with your musical career. Yeah. How's it mix, mixing that with television and film and oh, all that? How it's great you? fun, man. It's like uh, this is a chance of a lifetime for me. I mean, to get not just like to be in a really cool movie and to play the most famous troubadour of all time, mm -hmm. but you know to get a chance to like with my friends who are who are athletes or for example who are hockey players, real hockey players. To get a couple times I got to skate with them. And let them take, and that's a great little thing. And this is like that, you know. I get to work with my friends who are actors, and and you know, walk in their shoes for a few months, and it was well, awesome chance, man. It's great. You did a grand job too. You kicked some butt. Yeah, yeah, much. yeah. And I mean, Glee and all these other musical things are covered up, and you guys did such a great job with with the music. Can we hear any? Yeah, we were saying something. Yeah. Yeah. The, lose. the I, yeah, I, I saw an episode of Glee. You did on yeah. the airplane the other day, and I, I didn't expect to like it, but I, I actually it was really, fun, right? I show. actually really enjoyed it. Yeah. I expect that would hey, but uh, I don't think they'll sing this one. Later. And it's a roll, me funny boys, we're in a hurry, boys. We've got a long way to go. Oh. We'll sing and we'll dance and bid farewell to France. And it's roll, me bully boys, roll. <laughs> long for fame. Long for yeah. fame. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,